dear students in the previous module we have learned about security attacks and its forms now what are the preemptive measures which we can use to avoid such kind of situations you might have learned about this statement in your life that prevention is better than cure so you must prevent yourself rather than curing yourself afterwards when there is a problem so what are the preve preventive measures you can have firewalls spam filters proxy servers auditing softwares and antivirus softwares so we will learn that how these kind of systems and tools help us to protect us from different problems of security attacks so first of one is firewall this is installed at the gateway of the organization's internet and it can block messages coming from unknown regions so this might create denial of service so you have a region of your company and if there is any communication from outside of your company's infranet so those are blocked using the firewall to support the denial of service uh, to prevent the denial of service attacks then blocking incoming messages having ori origin address of the region which is normally spoofing so those are also firewalled and then can protect it can protect individual computer rather than the network if a computer is not a server then for example all of the ports should be blocked on which different clients could communicate to this pc which could act as a server in certain situations but at the moment it is not acting as a server because this is one of the way of accessing uh, to your pc using some ports and then there are some spam filters which are also coming under the heading of firewall they are specific firewalls to block unwanted emails and these are using sophisticated artificial intelligence and rule based techniques to avoid such kind of spam filters a uh, spam emails and then there could be another way using the proxy servers so basically proxy server acts as a intermediate server between the client and the server so this mean your client is communicating with the actual server using the proxy server so in this way we have different advantages one of the advantage is that your original server does not know that which client is communicating with me and original server cannot collect all of your historical and pro profiles data which could be then used afterwards and they can uh, they can also not under identify internal in uh, intranet structures of the client and they can establish proxy server for particular kind of services like ftp http telnet etc et another advantage of using the proxy server is for example ftp proxy server could check all incoming files for the presence of known viruses or some other threats and those can be deleted by the proxy server and those are not reaching to the actual server then there could be some auditing softwares so for example detection of sudden increase in messages traffic or there is a different behavior by a client so for example if there is a client that communicate in certain scenario in certain behavior but at some point that behavior is changing so at that time such auditing softwares could help us to identify some dis discrepancies and then it can also monitor activities of systems firewalls and detection of irregularities in your systems performance and in your systems log then there could be another measure that is called antivirus softwares they are used to detect re and remove the presence of known viruses and other infections so you must learn that antivirus always try to uh, remove the known viruses however there are number of new malwares and viruses are coming 
day by day. This means that we should update our antivirus system periodically so that those viruses which now have been discovered by the world should also become the part of your antivirus system to detect those viruses. However, there is still not a guarantee that all the viruses are have been caught. And users should not open emails from known sources, uh, unknown sources, do not respond to pop-up ads, and remove computer from internet when you are not using your computer on the internet. So if we summarize today's module, we have learned about the protection and cures which we can have to avoid ourselves from attacks. And those are using the firewalls, spam filters, proxy servers, auditing softwares, and at the last, antivirus software.